Welcome. What I'd like to do is go over uh, quickly what exactly is an angle bisector. And an angle bisector is basically going to be when we have an angle, and let's go through our three points here. So we have A, B, and C. When we have three, um, <laughs> we have three. When we have an angle, and we have a line that is on the interior of the angle, so it's a ray. So when we have a ray that cuts an angle basically in half. It pretty much takes the angle and now makes two congruent angles. Because remember, you know, we write this as like the arc, the measurement of one ray to the next. So if I have an angle bisector that literally cuts that in half, then we say that that line is what we call an angle bisector. So that's very important. When we know we have an angle bisector, we can now say that this arc is equivalent to that arc. So we've now made two angles where we could say that the measure of angle FBA is equal to the measure of the angle FBC. So now these two measures are equal to each other, which is very important when we have an angle bisector. Thanks.